everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be a bit of a random haul type video. I went shopping with my mum on Saturday and we didn't get loads, but we got quite a bit. I've got two bags full of stuff. The reason we went shopping was because I was desperate, I'm like seriously desperate for a pair of soft, comfy, thick, with pockets, tracksuit bombs. Did I find any? No, they were all really thin and scratchy material. Like. Where's all the comfy jogging bottoms gone? I even looked in the men's area because the men's clothing is usually com more comfortable and even the men's stuff was really thin and it really annoyed me and I didn't get what I went to wanted to get but I did end up buying quite a bit still. One thing to say though, none of this cost me a lot. I'm in the process of trying to save money and make money and I used my extra additional money income because I work part time at a pub so I used that money to treat myself to some clothes because I have just recently got rid of like half of my wardrobe. And I'm really hot in it, it's like an oven in here. I don't know if it's because I'm currently drinking coffee or what, but it's so, so hot in here. It's usually meant like freezing in this room, but today this room is like an oven, I don't know what's going on. So, I'm just going to pick up the bags and just show you really what I got. First bag is this heavy one. This is all Poundland stuff. Um, I actually brought the bag as well whilst I was at Poundland. I don't know if you guys can see, it's got like a cat on it that says, stop stressing me out. I thought it was really cute and I needed a bag. Um, because Boundland, I don't like, you get charged obviously to use passive badge bags and I forgot to bring my like other shopping bag with me so I just brought another one because you can never have too many of these sort of reusable bags like I'm always using them for stuff so the first few items I got were actually for my sister they're these storage unit um, baskets, so I've got that one this set of two, this set of two and then this one, a round one um, my sister has hired me, I'm going to say hired because she's paying me to organise and declutter her house. So I have, I think it was like the end of last year, kind of like, or maybe even like September time of last year, I did a declutter series of, on my channel of my house, I will try and like put a link to it down below or you can find it in the playlist on my channel. But I did a declutter series because I absolutely love tidying up, I have a thing about organising, like she gets me to regularly, like maybe once every few months she has me organise all her paperwork she doesn't know what she should keep and what she shouldn't get and I love that sort of thing when I was younger she used to pay me to tidy her bedroom just something about tidying and organising and everything just keeps me calm and makes me relax and I love it and she wants me to organise her house for her so I've just got some baskets to help me out like some stuff to go in the bar bathroom and drawers and cupboards like these would be drawer ones because oh the natural sun like the sun has just come Ooh, maybe I have to turn the light. Where did that come from? It's been cloudy all day. Oh, there you go. That's a bit better. I can't see anything now. The sunlight is like directly on me. It's like, oh. And I don't have curtains to like draw it. So I'm sorry, it's going to be bright now. But yeah, so she's got me to do that because I'm going to try and teach it. Oh my God, it's getting brighter. Why is the sun coming? There's not even a way for me to like block it out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to be blight. No. <sighs> it's been cloudy all day. And now the sun has just gone from a from a curtain, from like the wind, out uh, from a cloud, and it's bright. I don't know how to block it out. I haven't got anything to block it. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna have to put a hold on this video for a second. I need to try and deblock. Has that kind of blocked it out a bit? It's a bit better. I've had to put my shirt over it to try and. I live in England, and you can't work out when it's going to be sunny, when it's not going to be sunny. And it's been cloudy all morning, it's been cloudy all week, it's been snowing and everything and today the sun decides to come out, just as I'm filming. Typical. But yeah, so she wants me to organise it and I like to fold things, I know how to fold things properly and everything, I'm like a proper, like, I love to fold for certain things, like certain ways and everything, so I'm going to just try and organise her with these storage baskets. And I've probably now talked about storage baskets for way too long. But yeah, it's kind of like, have you ever anyone been watching on Netflix, the Maria Kondo, like, tidy thing, I think her name's Maria Kondo, Marie Kondo, whatever her name is, how it actually folds thing and like uses baskets, so now I've been doing that all my life basically, I've not, this isn't just a thing I've just started because she's on Netflix and like I'm obsessed with like you know the trends and that, I have been organising with storage baskets or shoe boxes or whatever since I've been about, I'd say since I've been about nine, possibly ten, I have like been obsessed with doing like certain methods and like folding things like certain ways and that and like now everyone's getting on board of it and it's annoying because I've been doing it since God knows how long. So storage baskets for my sister. We've talked about ah, the brightness too much. I need to stay here and then you won't. If I go any this side or this side, the brightness is going to get too much. Damn England. 
So what else have I got in here? This is mainly like rainbow stuff. Um, I have got myself two canvases. They're because they're only a pound. I thought, why the hell not? I um love art and everything, and I've been doing. I've got some ideas for canvas like art things. One of them is a hack that I want to try, and the other one is just stuff that I've been doing anyway, like with cat crayons and that, and. I have some ideas and I thought for one pound I may as well get these because they're quite a good size as well. So I got myself my canvases. You might I might even do a video of me using them. I'm not sure yet, I might do. It's canvases. Um what else did I get? Should I just lift a bag up now? Okay, this might be a bit easier now. Okay, what have we got in here? So toothbrushes, these are for rainbows, so you don't need to know about that. Um again, some little charm kit, charm bracelet things. For rainbows, I'm a rainbow leader and we do birthday presents now. We do like a lucky dip birthday thing in my unit. So we've got those for rainbows. What else got on it? A My Little Pony for rainbows. A doll for rainbows. And another doll for rainbows. This bit's for rainbows. There is somewhere actual stuff in this bag. Um, oh, hair clips. These are for me. I have these hair clips on my desk at work. And because like, when I get stressed, this is a fun fact for you all. Okay, depending on my mood, my hair determines my mood, and everyone at work has started to realise that. So when I'm like kind of can't bother, I have alien buns or whatever, and when I'm like con I've got my hair down when I go to work, I have my hair down. But when I get stressed or I have to concentrate, I get a hair clip and I shove my hair up so it's out of my way. And my hair clips snapped the other day, and I needed some more hair clips, so. These are the exact same ones that I got, but I spent like loads of my ones when I got them. And these were around the pants, so I just grabbed some new ones because I use my hair for like different moves. Like when I'm trying to be fun and playful or like childlike, I put my hair in like bunches. It's just, I don't know, my hair determines my mood. So I've got those. Um, I also got some hair bands. I know these are for kids, these hair accessories, but I used to love putting my hair in a hair band. And so I decided I wanted to try and do it again, just get them out. So it's just a grey one and like a little pattern one, but I don't know, I kind of feel like, see I think that's kind of cute, it hurts your head after a while, but with like a little hairband like that it's kind of cute. And then when I'm at work and I want to get my hair out of face, ow, that was sharp, I can just push it back. But I love hairbands, I don't know what it is about me, about them. I like hair accessories a lot, so we've got those. We're getting there. We've got more biscuits, one, oh, two, three. Four packets of chocolate biscuits for rainbows. This is just going to be a rainbow haul, isn't it? Can't mind. Okay, I'm, there's something I wanted to show you guys, but I can't find it. Oh, I got some cute paper clip, paper clips. Yeah, they are paper clips. I'm obsessed with stationery, and one day I am going to do a stationery haul from Wish or like some sort of like store. But these were super, 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 super cute. They're like rainbows and unicorns, and I just thought they're adorable. And I use these at work. I have really weird stationery at work. So whilst we're talking about that, I got a pen as well of a mermaid tail. I had one already, but it ran out. These don't last very long. Like, I think I used it for a week and then it ran out. But I'm obsessed with really random stationery and I use it all at work. I have like fluffy ones, um, unicorn head ones. I, I, my post-it notes are all unicorns and rainbows and very girly and weird. But I love weird stationery. I'm obsessed with it. And the only time I really get to use stationery is at work. So I get it to buy it. And the sun has come back out. I started to go behind the cloud, but it's coming back in. Oh my god! Okay, I need to move over this side a bit. I don't want to go that side. Okay, last of all, from Poundland, I got this little unicorn for me. It's meant to be, look. I don't know that one. Hello? Alexa just, Alexa just turned on. Why did she do that? Does anyone else's Alexa just start talking to herself? It really freaks me out sometimes, especially when I'm home alone. So I'm like, is that a ghost talking to me? But I got this really cute unicorn ornament for, I'm obsessed with unicorns and I just thought it was really cute. I prefer that side than that side. I just thought it was really, really, really adorable. The sunlight is now making things harder for me to show. So I got that for me. And then for something for 25p, this was reduced by a lot and I thought it was really cute. So I got it. Um, I got this for my sister for her bathroom. She probably won't want it and will say she ain't got anywhere for it. But for 25p, if she doesn't want it, I'll have it. It's just a super cute whale, and we love whales, and I just, I don't know, I really liked it, and I couldn't resist buying it for my sister. I always have to get my sister something. So I got that. That is the end of Poundland. I'm sorry, Poundland took ages, didn't it? 
and also the sun is going <laughs> one minute the cloud's there, the next minute the cloud isn't, like what the hell? I'm not even drinking from the hole. Okay, so that's pound then. Let's do peacocks. Now peacocks, I didn't get much from peacocks. This is when the style of like trying on the clothes happen. What am I that's about? So peacocks, first thing I got was some unicorn welly boots, wellingtons or wellies or whatever you want to call them. And they are amazing. I have worn them yes I wore them yesterday after I got them because I took the dog for a walk and I wore them. They're so so comfortable and I haven't got them up here to show you guys because they're muddy now. So I'll insert a picture of my welly boots. But they are awesome, I love them and they're fabulous. Now I love unicorns. Whilst talking about unicorns, my Harry Potter rucksack that I usually have keeps slipping and like the strap is starting to go so I couldn't resist. It's a unicorn rucksack. So it's iridescent pink, it's like a pinky iridescent. The straps are quite like, it's a normal little backpack really, the straps are like that. Um, you've got a little front button here with a little pocket, I obviously won't use a pocket. And then just a general zip with quite spacious on the inside and like a little zip on the inside and pocket as well. But I'm sorry, I love unusual bags. I'm obsessed with what, I've got a golden snitch, I've got a T-Rex, I've got a triangle, I've got a um, Stegosaurus one, I've got a mermaid bag, I'm obsessed with the light, damn sunlight, I've, I'm obsessed, seriously, I'm obsessed with ba weird bags and I think this will look super cute, like going out, a food shop put in there with a unicorn in the bag, do you, like, how adorable is that? The king, just, I love it, so I can't lie, and also in the sunlight, look at how magical it is, I don't know if it's going to pick up in the sunlight, that was magical. So I'm happy, I'm in love, and I got a unicorn bag. So what else did I get? Now we're up to the trying on the clothes part. So I did get some clothes. Um one I don't know, should I try them on? How many did I get? Oh, one thing I got was a bra. It's kinda like ow! It was a bit naff, was, you don't guys need to see it. I wear really boring bras because I don't care. I don't like I like comfort. I don't like making an effort, I like comfort, so I just got like a sport like bra. But I also got two items of clothing. These were both from the sales. One is Halloween. I don't think I'm gonna bother trying it on because it's so hot in here. And I, I'm sure it'll fit me as a size small. But this was originally uh, in Halloween. I can't remember how much I'm charging you for this because I saw it during October. This was 14 pounds and it was reduced to five. So I've got it for next year. You, it's cute, you can tell it's big. Can you guys see it? The only issue with this is why, the heart, why is it hearts for the eyes, for the pumpkin? That's not scary at all, but I wanted it last year, last Halloween, and I thought why the hell not, and I was going to get it. Shall I put it on quickly? Oh, this has been on, I have to like, do loads of editing. There we go. Actually, this fits really well. This is quite thin. Ah, sand and stuff. So here it is, pumpkin orange, very orange, pumpkin, Halloween, top. So I got that. Okay, what else did I get? I also then got this Jane Norman top. Um, it's holy. And what it used to be? This cost £5 and usually, this is all in the sales. Oh, they ain't got the original price on it. No! Well, oh, it was originally £18. So it was, it was £18, it's been reduced to 5 I thought this would look really cute under dungarees. Let's try it on and use my music movie magic to change. Okay, I'm back. I've changed on. I have actually kept my other t-shirt underneath because I'm lazy. But this is super cute. Like, I like it. It fits really well and I like it a lot. I think it's really cute. And oh, the sunlight, I think it'll look adorable with obviously nothing underneath it. Like, you wouldn't have this t-shirt underneath it. But I don't know. I like it. I think it's cute. It's a crop top kind of one. And yeah, kind of crop top. Actually, my jeans are quite high waisted, so it probably isn't like that crop top. But I don't know. I like it. I think it'll look cute with dungarees underneath. So you'll probably see this in a future videos. Ugh. Let's get it off. Oh. So last of all, that was peacocks. The last one we've got to do is Primark. Primark, I love. I always get stuff from Primark. I usually spend. About £100 in Primark this time I only spent 43 which I think is really good for me because I'm obsessed with it. So this is my Primark bag, it's not my, it's not full really. 
Um, let's start off easy. I got some unicorn slippers. See, that's some very cute unicorn slippers. These were two pounds reduced. They were four and they reduced two pounds. The only thing is they've got like a weird tail thing, which I think my cat is gonna like be obsessed with. But the ones I'm wearing, I'm gonna take them off. These ones, I wear every day, every morning, and whenever I'm at home, I wear my slippers. They're starting to get holes in, so I thought I needed some new ones, which is why I got those. They should be okay. Okay, what are we up to? We got a jumper. <laughs> I said this to my mum earlier when we were out. I shouldn't have got this really. I, about a week ago, I had another clothes sort out, and I realised I'm obsessed with jumpers. Like, fully obsessed. I have five, like, hoodies, and then I have maybe two normal oversized jumpers, and then probably about five crop top jumpers. So what did I buy when I went out? Another crop top jumper. This one I couldn't resist, so it's Friends, it's a central perk on it. This cost me £10, so I think this was the most expensive item. I'm just going to shove it on now whilst I'm showing you guys. But there's something about crop top jumpers that I love, I don't know why. Because I don't wear them, like most people you should wear crop top jumpers without your belly being covered, so it's like a natural crop top. So it's kind of like that. So it's like that, but I always wear it with a t-shirt underneath when I'm at work. But I love it because like this is one as well. It's so like, see the sleeves are like baggy, like they're actually long, too long for me. But like I can roll them up and I like the bagginess of it all. And it's just, it's like comfort. It's so baggy that it's like a cuddly comfort thing. I don't know what it is. Oh, sorry bag. Did I just apologize for my bag? But I don't know, something about crop top jumpers, especially like this, this is a size 10. And it's just so baggy and comfortable and I love them. I, I like to be able to pull my sleeves like that and cover them up by like doing that and this is so soft and I just, I love it. So we got that. Um, I also got this top which was £6. It's just a thin long sleeve top. I'm going to try it on so let's do some movie magic. Okay so I got this top for work. Um, the sleeves all unraveled when I was putting it on so I need to roll the sleeves up properly but I'm too lazy right now. This is quite a good length as well, it fits really nice. I thought it was going to be really thin and actually it's not too bad. And this will be good for leggings because I don't know if you guys can see because the sunlight is like everywhere but it covers like my butt. Sorry my jeans are like super loose at the moment. It fits really well though, it covers my butt and I think this would be perfect for like springtime at work. Even in the winter actually because it gets hot in my port cabins. It's either really really cold or really really hot where I work. But I, I don't know, this is quite a nice material I think. Like it's quite not see through but it feels see through if that makes sense. I it's cool, I like it, it's relaxed. So woohoo. Um I got this dress. If we do the dress next. Now there was two really nice dresses I was obsessed with and I thought they were so so cute. There was a really cute like tartan one, but they I they had it in extra 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 small or extra extra large. They didn't have it in my size. The sun has now moved across. Ugh. I give up with the sun. I'm sorry, it's light and it's terrible. But I got this dress for £13 and I think it's absolutely adorable. I think though it might be a bit too big for me. It looks like it's going to be too big for me. I'm going to try it on and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back. So the first thing about this dress, I'm going to have to invest in some new bras. I don't know if you guys can like tell, but it fits really nicely first of all. It's quite like, it doesn't hug the body really well, but look at this. All my bras are high waist, like high up, as you can see with this one. And this is quite a low cut dress, so I'm gonna have to invest in a different style bra to be able to wear this. But I think this will be super cute for work, it's not even too short. If I try and move back a bit, can you guys see me now? No? Okay, we're gonna have to go on the chair. This is really bad filming. I'm up. See, it's not. This is when I thought. It's not too short. I always use this tattoo as a guideline for when things are too short. If you see, more than half of the tattoo is too short, but I think it fits quite well and it looks really cute and I love this style stuff. It kind of reminds me of like the 70s kind of style outfit. Like put this skirt, this dress on with like um, really high like latex kind of boots and you've kind of got like a 70s, 60s vibe going on, which I super love. I've, this would be really cute in spring or summer. And now the sun is getting low. I've like boarded off all of my... um window and the sun is just going through the gap which I've left. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, we got this. This is a bodycon like bodysuit kind of thing. Cost four pounds. I 
hate these or I used to hate these when I was like 16 I got one and I hated it because it's so awkward trying to go to the toilet even though you've got like the button so you undo it there to go to the toilet instead of pulling it all down I just felt really uncomfortable however I thought this would look cute with like jeans and like a shirt over the top or dungarees I'm like obsessed with dungarees at the moment so I've got this I'm gonna give it a try and just see what it looks like and yeah we'll hope for the best I guess okay I'm back um I've shagged my jeans on just so not but not done them up because you know I'm lazy but this is the kind of like how I imagine it to look like just like see that it looks kind of cute and then put a shirt over the top it's fine issue again my bras are sticking my bras sticking out and I don't know if it's because I ain't got any boobs like I'm so flat chested but what is quite loose around the boobage area so that might just be because I'm flat chested and I ain't got any boobs I need like and like Phew. there you go and then it'll like look alright it'll fit but yeah it's kind of nice so look I'm gonna kind of like just give you a bit of a quick it fits all down here as well I'm not gonna pull it out because my ass is hanging out <laughs> and it fits really nicely like the cut is really good like all along here is it's comfortable it works and I think with a pair of dungarees it'd be brilliant I would show you the whole like part but my butt is like proper hanging out of them I haven't really got the best sort of underwear on for these so the last item I got oh I got some hairbands just to let you guys know I got some hairbands the last thing I have been wanting long long like long leg dungarees for nearly a year I'm obsessed obsessed with dungarees I wear my short dungarees in the winter I wear them in the summer I wear them in the spring if I could I would live in dungarees and I've wanted some long, long ones so I could wear them to work because I when I, do, I wear my pinafore dresses to work because they're kind of like the dungaree kind of like uh, what they're called the like thingy straps what are they called mine's gone blank I can't remember what they're called but like these sort of straps pinafore dresses have those sort of straps and I love that sort of style so I um, wear those to work and then I live in my dungarees at home and I saw for £7 these were reduced I can't remember I think they were like £17 maybe I don't really like the colour but that'll be fine some long legged dungarees I saw them and then I, want, I tried to grab my mum and she had vanished in the shop and I was like mum mum and then I started shouting Marco because we have this thing with my family when you do Marco you shout polo so we can find each other but she weren't replying to me so I was standing there in Primark going Marco wandering around the shop and going where is that bloody woman and then I found her and I was like come look come look and then there was a man standing there so we had to wait for the man to go and then I just got her to look and I was like look 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 dungarees and then I was excited so I'm going to try these on I'm going to keep this on though because this kind of would work as a good underneath thing and hopefully i'm not too short i got size 10 because that's what my dungarees are but then i'm quite a short person i'm only five foot three five foot four so i think these could be a bit long but we'll try them out okay i'm super happy the straps i need to have a bit of a play with to sort out because i just think they might be even now i don't know but these are so comfortable and like so baggy and so comfortable i can't even explain they're just really comfortable like look at this I don't know if you guys can tell but like even with this little like bodycon on they look super super cute I feel like maybe the straps need to be a little bit lower I'm not sure about that because I like this bit a bit baggy but then I feel like if they're a bit too baggy like I don't know I will have to have a bit of a play to get the straps like comfortable but I think they look super cute and I'm not oh let's get up here again this is ah oh, I'm still not tall enough ah oh, I'm still not like tall enough show but they're not too long I think they're probably like the perfect length like they don't drag on the floor i can easily fold them up like once more but i think they're all right it's just funny because my crotch is like here's my crotch and like i don't think it's so baggy but they're so kind of obviously not gonna have them like that <laughs> i just i don't know i think i possibly won't wear these to work just because of how like loose they are but you can't see me at all whilst i'm talking can you so yeah i don't think i'll wear them to work because here you go. my crotch is here and that's how they are and everything's quite baggy but they're so cute and this is my thing I love wearing my dungarees like half on like this or having like them down oops the bras come off so they're like baggy like that and I think they look super cute like that and I'm ecstatic I need to get some other colours and maybe try and get some more of these see I wear them like that as well my dungarees a lot I just feel like a painter like I probably feel like so relaxed and comfortable right now 
like I often wear them like that as well, like with one strap done up still like that. I'm kind of like scruffy when it comes to dungarees, but I don't care. These are so cute and I'm in love with them. I think I want to take these on holiday with me and I will just like live in them on holiday. I usually live in dungarees on holiday and these can be like my spring clothes. I don't think I'll wear them to work though. I don't know. Do you guys think I should wear these to work if you've made it this far? Like, do they look okay to work in? It just makes me look like I've got no bum. Right, that's one issue. Where's my butt gone? Like, my butt's here. And like, it doesn't look like everyone. It's a bit baggy around the butt area. I kind of feel like a dot baby. I, oh my god, imagine having like bunches. Like your hair in bunches and like this. I feel like a proper little like baby. I love them though. I think they are so, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna start the video now. Um, it looks like I've spent a lot, but I haven't really. It was about £60 altogether, and everything was like in the sales, really. Mo well, most of the bag wasn't in the sales, but everything else pretty much was. Um, what's your favourite item from what I got? I know it was a very long video, so if you made it this far, well done to you, have a cookie. But yeah, what's your favourite item? I'm sorry about the lighting. The lighting, it's England, I can't help it. I have. Um, I don't know, the light, it's going behind, the sun's going behind the clouds again now, it's ridiculous, one second's out and one second's not, and I couldn't keep up with it, I'm sorry, but I'm not really recording this video because it took me a while. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, any hauls or any like video ideas you got for me, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get them done. That is seriously everything now, don't forget to, to, uh, don't forget to subscribe, I can't say subscribe today. Don't forget to subscribe because I upload videos every Sunday and every Wednesday. The Wednesday ones are gaming videos, but the Sundays are random ones. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever the time of day is. I hope you're happy and smiling because that's the most important thing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!